Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. Oh, Lord, of Brittany. Well, today, another reaction. Brittany Winner opens up about her dating life, you know, in the past, about how she uh, dated certain celebrities, not celebrities, but certain athletes, certain people throughout the industry. And I think this is important. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to go ahead and just skim through it and really break it down a little bit. You, you, um, so I know some people when their kids are young, like, just don't want to date. How do you, like, feel about that? Um, I think it has more to do with where I'm at, um, mm -hmm. emotionally, and it's not even like a jaded thing, right? It's more of, I know my value. Mm -hmm. I can talk to, I can have one conversation with a guy now, and I know exactly what he's about. So most of the guys that have presented themselves in front of me just want to fuck me. I'm not interested in that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep my, I'm going to keep an open mind and I'm going to keep an open heart. But I know by how a man approaches me, how he speaks to me, mm -hmm. I know that there's, that, that he wants more with me. It is just, I know. I, so that's where I'm like, I'm not. Well, I don't know if she said, well, she says she knows her value in terms of, I would have to see, I don't know if she means by the fact of like how men view her and she kind of broke it down right there saying all they want to do is go balls deep. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, that's what happens. I mean, the thing is women, when you're born and they have to understand this is that you already have your value in, in place and you have to cash in. Men, we have to invest our value by either working really hard we have to build our value. We have to invest and build our value. And how do we do that? Through hard work or through a profession that pays a lot. And a man really doesn't reach his financial stride until he's at least in his mid-30s to even early 40s or 50s. Sometimes even 60s. So with that being said, it's just like here in the West, women have been told that they're equal to men. When in reality, that's just not true. That anything a man could do by by opposite or by proxy, you, you can do it as well. So if you want to sleep with thousands of men, if you want to go out there and hook up like men do, and by all means do it, but let I'm letting you know this right now, your, your value to men is inherently decreasing. That's what, the fem, that's what the eminists don't tell you. I almost said the F word. That's what the eminists don't tell you. They don't tell you all the bad things that come along with the this movement. They just tell you the oh you get to do everything a man gets to do. But at the end of the day, why would you even want to do what a man does? You know how much stress men go through? You know how much we work ourselves to death, how much stress we're under. We die earlier than, than the females. We're we're constantly, constantly be pushing ourselves to be better and efficient. We're competitive. We got, we got, we all got types of calluses in our hands. We work our asses off, and through hard work, we do, we do get rewarded. You know, faith without works is dead. But here in the West, like I said, here women are don't know that they're in terms of a man's about in terms of how men view them, how valuable you are to men. One thing men care about your fitness, your femininity, your cooperativeness, your submissiveness, and whether or not you have a kid. That's what we care about. Your fertility, your fertility. And your youth is viable to us as well. Those are those are vital. Fertility and youth. And if you have expended your fertility and your youth and your virtues to other men, like thousands of men, not thousands, hundreds of men, thousands of men, it's just like, well, maybe thousands, who knows, especially today's era, how women how women move nowadays. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the thousands. But um, yeah, man. You got to watch it because then you're going to hit the wall at 30 because that's when men really don't have much to do with you after that. And uh, the next thing you know, those guys who slide in your DMs, those athletes, those entertainers and all that, all of a sudden it's looking dry. Because there's a new batch of 20-year-olds, new batch of 19-year-olds coming every damn year, every damn day of the week. That same dude, that same guy who's 25, when he's 35, you're going to be looking for the same version of you, but younger. 
That's the way it works here. That's the way it's always worked for thousands of years. It's how men and women work. Women care about protection, provision, and discipline, order, leadership, structures. They, that's what they care about. Men care about fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, and childless, your fertility. You know, we're different for a reason. Opposites attract. We don't we don't look for the best versions of ourselves in the opposite sex. That's what a lot of women think nowadays. But no, we're looking for the exact polar opposite. Masculinity is attracted to femininity. Femininity is attracted to masculinity. You can't make one gender the same as the other gender because we're just inherently different. I mean, that's not me saying it. That's biology, that's, biology, that's science, that's hell even biblically. If you're religious, anyway, let's get back into it. Going on dates right now, I'm not talking. I don't have somebody that we talk every few days, every day. I have no masculine ener energy besides like my family, uh, our family friend Jerry. Um, I have no masculine energy in my in my in my sphere in my bubble. I don't That's usually because how it I goes. think That's usually how I'm it goes. focused on men and just dick in general mm -hmm. for a very long time. And now I'm I'm just gonna get to the business. Wrong priority. Um, I understand that the window the percentage it's 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 changed a lot from when i was 22. Mm -hmm. so all i can do is kind of equip myself financially take advantage of the opportunities i have now to set myself up because i can't rely on a man and come someone coming to save me i can only save myself now so that's why I've, uh, dating's not a at least she knows point, what she know, put herself like, into most women don't know what they get themselves that, into that actually want to get to know me like the real me not just want to fuck me and say all the right things and fuck me because I can see through that too. Mm -hmm. So I just use discernment now where I'm like, no guys even really try to talk to me. Like, or I should say, um, well, that's the thing. She put herself in a category of fun girl. She put herself in a category of wife. If she cared about being a wife, she wouldn't have had a kid. She wouldn't have had all them bodies on her. She wouldn't have. That's what men care about. And a lot of women today have chose to go with a certain ideology thinking that they can do the same thing a man can do and walk away with a husband at the end of the day when they're 35, you know, they got two kids, they got baby daddies all over the place. It's just like, nah, man, that's not how it goes. A man worth his salt will not raise another man's seed and he will not be, get the sloppy seconds of another man who's lesser than he is. In most cases, that's, what, that's, that's how it usually goes, but Runner's case, she was dating... Athletes, entertainers, celebrities, and all that. So, I mean, I mean, it usually don't. They're not necessarily in the category of high value male or working hard male. They're just really celebrities, and sports entertainers. Especially nowadays, like people get famous for the stupidest reasons of all time. It's not for anything they've done hard work. It's not anything that they've really accomplished in their life for like hard work or anything. Unless they're you know good at they have good talent like you know basketball, NFL, or they're good at acting. But other than that, it's just like most people who. Those guys who are famous now just, you know, they, they, they're not, they don't have it, they don't have it like a STEM, they're not into STEM, they're not into like technology, science, technology, or math, they're just really just entertaining or sports or whatever, but either way, man. No guys that, like, I don't, no, 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 it's, of course, of course that. guys, that, no, 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 I'm saying, of course there's guys in my DM, like random people, yeah, but yeah. guys that I would be interested in, they, there's really nobody trying to talk to me like that, and that's okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. Would you date a guy that's a normal nine to, okay. Would you date a guy makes 40000 okay. per year, and he's not hot. He's just like, eh, all right. Average guy. Average guy? He has a little, a little beer. He's like skinny, you know, little beer belly. Skinny fat. Beer belly. Yeah, skinny no. fat. I take care of myself. I'm in the gym four to five times a week. Um, at Whatever his salary is, to me, I feel like... I still want to be attracted to the person. Stop telling right. me how you and feel. Tell me what you know. Forty-five thousand dollars. Well, you could be in the gym. A gym membership is twenty dollars a month. Mm -hmm. So if I'm again, I had a kid a year and a half ago. And I look damn good. So it's like I would want someone who takes care of their body. Mm -hmm. So the the beer bellies were kind of where you lost it. It wasn't even really the money thing. It was like the the what attractive. What if he was mess. like dead in the face but jacked? Forty thousand a year. No, <laughs> I don't like what I'm looking at. <laughs> too as they get older like i like the salt and pepper like they yeah. get sexier like mm -hmm. i want to date someone that i'm not attracted to would you date someone like 20 30 years older 30 years older he's salt and pepper and fine <laughs> why well, would you have to think about that the guy who's older than i would assume that you want a guy who's older than you or 
damn near up close to like come on now probably he's okay <laughs> because it's just like even when girls say they're like bringing down their standards it's like do, do we really right like it's hard for them to get all it's hard for them to put down their standards especially after they had a certain level of caliber of guy but um see this is what this is what this is what really confused me about you know the modern the you know about how women view how women go through about the world today the modern woman it's just like you're, we're not men are not supposed to be the cute ones. Y'all supposed to be the cute ones. Y'all supposed to be the ones looking fine. You know what men do nowadays? Yeah, I'm in the gym constantly, but at the end of the day, I understand that most guys who are productive, competitive, successful males, you know, especially the high value males, they ain't got time to go in the gym like that. They're busy making that money, getting that bread up. Really, I mean, most guys they got pot bellies. You know, they've been working them ditches all day. They in the, they in the coal mines. They're fixing the the power lines, they're fixing, they're fixing the sewage, they're doing all this. They got callous hands, they look they look like a damn, they look like a damn, a, a, a dead communal, communal dragon in the face. It's just like, man, I, I understand. Listen, I'm for male self-improvement. I want you in the gym. I don't care if you're working 10, 15, 20 hours a week. You still find time to get in that gym and pump that iron. But I understand what men, you know, especially a lot of men's, have to go through, especially in their day to day lives, just to keep this damn infrastructure in this country running and throughout the world. It's just like most men aren't like that. Eighty percent of males they're working their asses off. You know, they're in the ditches, they're digging, they're in the military service, they're the blue collar truck drivers getting this getting the you know, the, the shipments back and forth to get into the stores. They're they're even hell. They're even the damn scientists and engineers working on the next big thing. They're in corporate. America. They, they ain't got time to be doing all that. And the thing is, these males ain't gonna argue with you. They just gonna find somebody else who, go, who will get on their program. Like after a certain age, women don't have the leverage no more. Men do. And really, I mean, you think about it, men do probably hold all the leverage because when you get older, your value increases. So you got to completely. Constantly, not only that, when women get older, they need a man for financial, for financial security, because a lot of money. You need two point. Was it? What did Kevin Samuels say? You need over two point four million dollars to retire on. Now, and you look at the numbers. That's usually around what you need to retire on, and most women don't have that. So, and I'm reading articles saying that uh, there's going to be a tsunami of homeless women in the later years. Winter is coming. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, it's like, we're not supposed to be the cute ones. Y'all supposed to be the cute ones. Are you kidding me? I mean, as much as much stress as we go through, as men, like, come on now. Do you, you really think? And the thing is, average men and men in general have made it so convenient to the point where women can actually pick the cute ones. The, the cute guy, the stud muffins like myself. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Seriously, man, it's just like, come on now. Y'all supposed to be the cute ones. We supposed to be the rugged Low down, dirty, I Spartan mother in this mother. I can't curse. But we're supposed to be the ones in the dirt, digging the ditches. You know, we got mud all over our face. We, we get stressed. We got the we got the circle bags on our eyes. We stressed out. We're coming home and all we asking for is a peaceful house with a fit woman. With everything taken care of. You know, cooking, cleaning, all that. Because we got to go out there and fight the world. The last thing we want to do is come home and have another fight. We slay the dragon. All, when we go out there, we slay the dragon. All we ask for you to do is just keep maintain the castle. While we go out there slaying the dragon, getting burnt. That's all we trying to do. I think I, I, I think you, I'm like you know percent of men most women find unattractive. What? Not not just okay, unattractive. Okay. But eighty. You you probably find eighty percent of men unattractive. I just said that too. So even if like eighty percent of men are like, like that. even if you find a guy attractive, like you just think he's fine. That means other girls think he's fine. That's top twenty percent of men. Yep. And it yeah. kind of puts us. And it kind of just puts us in the same predicament where it's like, through our twenties, like this this is what the guys are complaining about. It's like okay, through our twenties. We're gonna sleep around with the the rappers, the entertainers, and maybe like yeah, you know most what girls. What about. I would say I know the manosphere says differently. Don't don't have access to the guys you would access to, right? But it could be like the town rapper, the town like what, yeah. whatever it was, right? Yeah. And those guys will never commit, and if they do commit, they'll probably cheat. And then we come at thirty and say, "Take me now, maybe with a kid from someone." 
Yeah. And it's like the guy comes in and feels like he's like settled for. Because it's a mating it's a, <laughs> some uh some people call it a mating strategy for real. Where like they uh they sleep with the guy who they think is the most attractive and then once they have the kid or whatever, then they get the beta to take care of it. You'll 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 see that it's a mating strategy for most women and like I said, it's, it's a primal instinct you really think about it. But um yeah, I heard about this and it sounds like a lot like a strategy for a lot of women would use, especially nowadays. So yeah, or they do use it nowadays, yeah. Because the guys you really wanted were in your 20s. And it's kind of like what you're saying is kind of reiterating this because you just said now, like, you don't have the guys you want in your DMs anymore. Sloppy Correct. seconds. But this is how it's meant to be because a lot of people have villainized me and I've played into that. Actually, I'm going to say, people have villainized me and I have villainized myself because it's like, well, mm -hmm. instead of fighting against it and, you know, uh, I don't know, trying to convince people I'm actually a good-hearted person, mm -hmm. it's easier to just be the villain. Mm -hmm. um, so I do feel like the villain element is a lot of, I would say more so what guys fear, right? Because they're thinking she's gonna hurt me, she's gonna write about me, she's gonna this. Um, so to be honest, I wasn't meant to be with any of those guys in my 20s. Like, there, it wasn't a match. And like, I, there's nobody then that I'm like, I wish they would take me seriously now. No, like they, I like them the same reason they like me. I'm trophy pussy to them, and they're basically trophy dick to me. We both got what we wanted. I, I mean, essentially, we wanted to have sex. That worked. I mean, yeah, you have sex, and you maybe want to start being in a relationship, but you don't. I didn't fucking know them like that. There's a lot of guys I didn't really know on that level to even it makes sense. So it's not even like you were saying. Call Cap a little bit. Call him Cap. And this is the reason why I say women would. If that was the case, you wouldn't have had sex with him in the first place. And come on, man. Let's think about it for a second. I mean, if you're just looking to get, if you're looking, just looking to go balls deep, and looking for him to go balls deep. What we don't understand is men know that you have an emotional attachment when it comes to sex. So you pair bonding, you pair bond with a man that you have sex with. It's not just a physical act for you. Like men, we can have men were designed to inherently spread our seed, scientifically, even biblically. What is the prime objective of our Creator? Be fruitful and multiply. And if you look at the science, if you look at the male reproductive system, most scientists will tell you too, like, yeah, men are inherently designed to spread their sperm as, and to impregnate as many women as possible because it's biologically engineered into our DNA. Testosterone breeds a higher sex drive. Estrogen breeds more emotional attachments. And this is what and I kind of call capital breeding is doing right now. But hey. You want to go balls deep? Go balls deep. But I call him Cap a little bit because if that was the case, you wouldn't have. Had, I mean, yeah, you probably wouldn't have let them hit and then just quit like that. But I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit, or maybe I'm not thinking about it at all. Who knows? But either way, man, I think this was, was important. This is this is a very important top topic because, uh, especially a lot, especially nowadays. You know, we got the whole hookup culture going around nowadays. And I think it's just detrimental to the fact that we're going to ever. I see a tsunami of leftover women in the next te in the next decade. Mark my words, twenty thirty, it's going to be looking real interesting because you're going to have a lot. You're going to have a whole plethora of women who, who are going to enter into their thirties and not be married. Marriage in this country is very is is down in the toilet, and it's going to be it's going to get interesting. I know what y'all think about the video, man. Like, subscribe, comment, do what you gotta do, man. You think Brittany, you think Brittany is calling, you think Brittany is capping a little bit, or you think she's kind of telling, I think Brittany, when when it comes to certain platforms, she kind of, she kind of switches up her story a little bit. I noticed that when she went on Kevin Samuels and now even just pearly things, but hell, either way, she tries, she tries to sound as consistent as possible, but at the same time, she tries to sound realistic as possible, and then it just kind of, it just kind of sounds like it's all over the place sometimes, but Either way, uh, I think deep down she knows what she did. I think deep down she knows what she did. She knows the type of hole she dug herself into. And hey, I mean, you're free to make your choice. But all I ask is you accept the consequences that come with the choice. That's all I ask. Because everything has a consequences. Everything has a trade-off. There's no there's no solution to a problem. There's only trade-offs. I think Thomas Sowell said that. Somebody said that. Yeah, there's no solution to any problem. There's just a trade-off. So, either way, man.
You got to watch it. What y'all think, man? Like, subscribe, do what you got to do. I'm out. Peace.